If we close down again, we're gone. Everybody's gone. All the little guys are gone. It's just, you might as well just do it now. We're, we're finished. As the workers at Half Day Cafe in Deerfield Township scrubbed down the restaurant to close one hour earlier than usual to preserve labor costs, owner Dale Hipsley counts another day open after the shutdown, along with months worth of lost revenue. The good news is, yeah, we're open. The bad news is we're open at a limited capacity, and even that is yet more limited because people still aren't comfortable coming back out. Hipsley has gone from 100% capacity to operating at about 75% capacity. Each of these chairs stacked and tucked away in the kitchen has a dollar sign attached to them. Hipsley says it adds up to a couple of hundred thousand dollars in lost revenue. It's a pretty narrow path to the other side. Being closed for that long in a restaurant business, famously margins are thin. You, should, you take out 90% of your revenue for almost three months, it's a hole to dig out of. While he's hoping his two locations in Wyoming and Deerfield can make it through to the other side of this economic downturn, the owners of the Green Farm Juicery right next door are just getting started. It's been challenging, uh, but uh, we fought through it and uh, we're doing some marketing, we're getting out there and we're getting a lot of great feedback. The shutdown delayed their process by a few months, but the juicery will finally be open for business tomorrow from nine to three. These small business owners urging people to help by choosing them over the big box guys. Engage in small business, do your business there. If you've got a local hardware store, go to the local hardware store. Don't go to the big boys. The big boys stayed open during all this stuff. We didn't. Well, the Half Day Cafe has followed the state's stringent cleaning and social distancing guidelines. They welcome people to pause the cooking at home for a bit and come in for a good meal.